number one priority is to really build a community-based infrastructure so that our families in New Hampshire that are really struggling and the kids are struggling have services that are appropriate and meaningful close to home. Director Fleischer has a vision that expands the role of child protection beyond the state agency he is now leading. Let's start with the family and their needs and their strengths and their assets, and let's build services tailored to their needs. His approach starts with asking a family, what do you need? How can we help? How can we work together? Families are usually not asked what they need. They're usually told what they need to do. Fleischer's priority year one is reducing the number of children in residential treatment programs and ending the practice of sending New Hampshire kids out of state. I think we have over 300 kids placed in residential facilities at enormous cost. We might be spending 25 percent of our budget on those 300 kids. The new director is learning how New Hampshire does things and is aware of the Youth Development Center changes underway and the turmoil surrounding the hundreds of abuse cases that are now in litigation. He's optimistic. You guys did amazing work. You used to have 144 kids in your detention center, and you had all kinds of difficulties and lawsuits, and you got that down to 70, and now it's down to 15. I just toured the facility uh, Friday, mm -hmm. um, which is incredible. States are struggling to do that. Director Fleischer believes parents want what's best for their children, and if they had a magic wand that could erase their own trauma and addiction, they would choose what's best for their kids. He believes a proactive community approach will help families achieve just that. In the studio, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.